so I shoved my used pad and the wrapping of the new pad in my sports bra. The used pad? You cannot be for real. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's already that time of the month. And yeah, I literally mean that time of the month. I am reading your period horror stories today, but I am adding a fun little twist. So in my last few videos, I've been ranking things. I did it in my Am I the A-hole video and my embarrassing stories. And now we're bringing it to period horror stories. I'm gonna rank your stories on a scale of like, this really isn't that bad to, oh, this was like really bad. That being said, let me actually Actually introduce you to the rankings. We're gonna start with the green and that's it happens to the best of us sis. This is just part of having a uterus sadly. <laughs> then we got this sucks but you'll be okay. It could have been a lot worse. Next is don't leave your room. This was bad. We'll give it to you. You might not want to show your face for a while. <laughs> then we have you couldn't waterboard this from me. This is really embarrassing. I'm surprised you didn't keep this to yourself. And for the worst of the worst we have you need to change your identity. That's how I'm embarrassing this was that you just need to change who you are completely and like flee. <laughs> Feel free to judge along with me but that being said go grab your snacks go grab your tea and let's get right into this tea. Got blood on my pants and my friends kept laughing and giggling when we were at lunch and no one told me. The janitor said that I had blood on my pants and walked me to the lost and found to get a jacket. Um so the part where you were like my friends kept laughing and giggling you mean your ex friends. Those are not your friends. If they were really your friends they wouldn't laugh at you when something embarrassing was happening. I mean actually like real friends friends would laugh their ass off at you, but then they like help you. These guys didn't even bother to help you. So yeah, yo ex friends. Um, it seems like the only actual real person here and the only person you should actually be friends with is the janitor. It's insanely petty for friends to be laughing at their friend over a period stain, over something that is natural and something you can't control and something that could probably happen to them too. Yikes. As for someone that got blood on their pants, hmm. I'm gonna say it sucks, but you'll be okay because the janitor took you to the lost and found, you know, so you found something to wrap around and hide the period stain and sadly that is the case for a lot of us we leak through we gotta hide it somehow so yeah maybe it happens to the best of us but not all of us are lucky to have that janitor actually when i first started my period i didn't want to tell my mom because we didn't talk about stuff like that so i had my sister-in-law come over and sneak me pads and tampons through my bedroom window for the first couple months i'm sorry what <laughs> At first, I was like, this is girlhood, being a bit embarrassed about your period, not wanting to tell someone because you think you're dying or you just, I don't know, feel embarrassed for some whatever reason. Puberty. It is what it is. It's the, I would get pads and tampons snuck to me through my bedroom window for the first couple of months? That was happening more than once? You imagine there's just a grown ass woman outside someone's window handing them tampons and pads. Oh my God, no y'all. It's not that bad to tell your mom, I promise. Actually, if you don't know how to tell your mom, I got a video on how to tell your parents you got your period if you really needed it. I wanna be like, this happens to the best of us, sis. But the whole like sneaking in the bedroom window, like what if I live on the second floor? <laughs> I'm just gonna give it, it happens to the best of us. Cause I'm sure some of us have done uh, more extreme things than this. Mom is expecting you to get a period. I was alone with my band director because I'm the only one on my instrument and I felt my tampon leaking. I asked you to use the restroom and he asked why and I looked him dead in the eyes and said, look, I'm on my period. And he was all like, just hold it in. And then I said, if you were shot with a gun, would you be able to stop it from bleeding? No. Now let me use the bathroom or I will get you fired. He quit a week later? Oh. And this is why teaching is not for the week. <laughs> I mean, really, dude? You quit over someone explaining how periods work to you? That's crazy. Already, I'm just gonna say it happens to the best of us, sis, because the amount of stories I get of people being like, my teacher didn't let me go to the bathroom, even after I told them on my period, is insane. What do you mean I can't go to the bathroom? I am bleeding from my coochie and I can't control it. So unless you want me to bleed, all over the floor, all over the chair, all over the things you love, you're gonna let me go to the bathroom. So respect. Also like, why do you wanna go to the bathroom? What do you mean, why do I wanna go to the bathroom? So I could use the bathroom. Silly question. Next. One time when I was showering, I was too scared to have anybody see my pad. So I shoved my used pad and the wrapping of the new pad, which I had put on in the shower, in my sports bra. The used pad?
which had padding you could take out so I put it in there and forgot to take it out again and when I put the pad in the washing machine it exploded into a million small cotton pieces and all of the clothes were covered in my blood. My mom was really mad. Nice piece of advice. Do not ever put a pad in the washing machine. I think you mean to say do not ever put a pad, a used pad, in your bra. Oh my god. No, you can waterboard this for me. Like, I don't even have to second guess that one. Just the fact of even thinking about having something with my, like, period blood that's been sitting there anywhere near my body that's not my coochie. I'm so good. I am, no, nope, I'm good. Listen, you take the wrapping from the pad. You wrap up your used pad, kind of like you did here, but just walk out out with it. No shame. Wait, I can't tell if you were like at school or at home. I was gonna say, if you're like in the women's restroom, other women there are having periods. If you're in the comfort of your own home, you would really have less of an excuse to stick this in your sports bra. I'm trying to fight for you, sis, but like, if this happened at home, you really couldn't waterboard this for me. For real, for real. I'd rather let everyone see my pad than have my laundry covered in period blood. So I was at my friend's birthday party and I felt wet down there and I thought it was just discharge. So I went to bed and when I woke up, there was blood everywhere and some girls had it on them. Now I don't go to sleepovers anymore. <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh, this happens all the time. You go to bed, everything's fine and dandy. You're like, oh, I'm a little wet. Must be that silly girl discharge, nothing new. And then you wake up and it looks like you were like, you know, just like stabbed violently in your uterus. Um, it's the fact that there were other people in that bed and those other people were covered in the period blood too. Even if I wasn't the one that leaked and I woke up in someone else's period blood, I too would stop going to sleepovers. Not even to be dramatic. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a don't leave your room type or if this is like, it sucks, but you'll be okay. And I'm only debating that because she's like, I don't even go to sleepovers anymore. So then you could leave your room. So yeah, yeah, I'll put sucks, but you'll be okay. Maybe I really should put this in don't leave your room. But it's not like people will ever forget this anyways, because I will be damned if I forget the time that I woke up in someone else's period. <laughs> it, sucks. it sucks, but you'll be okay, sis. That's what we're leaving it at. <sighs> girlhood. <laughs> but real talk, if you're enjoying this video so far and you are not subscribed yet, you should totally do that. I love spilling your tea and I spill your tea often, especially your period horror stories. I do them once a month, every single month, like a period. If you aren't subscribed, I would definitely rank you at you need to change your identity and then subscribe with that new identity. <laughs> but anyways, one time I was on my period and I told my teacher that I needed to go to the bathroom. She told me to wait, but obviously I couldn't. I told her that I really needed to go, but she just yelled at me and told me to sit down. So I ran out of the class to go to the bathroom and I got suspended for one day. This was a long time ago, but I want to tell that teacher off, lol. It is never too late to tell someone off. And if that makes me petty, so be it. <laughs> How are you gonna suspend someone for going to the restroom? If I gotta go, I gotta go, dude. Even if it's like not my period, if I am like pissing myself or I'm about to crap my pants, I have a right to go to that bathroom and save all of us in that classroom from the accident that's about to happen. That's crazy. I simply would have gone to like my teacher, my parents, the principal and been like, do you guys see this? These are pads. Why are they bloody, you may ask? It's because I'm on my period. You wanna revoke my suspension now or? <laughs> Did you just forget that like puberty is a thing and periods are happening? I just, so crazy. That being said, sadly, I have to say it happens to the best of us, sis. And I hate saying that this happens to the best of us because it's like the bare minimum. I gotta go, I gotta go. But apparently teachers don't like letting y'all go. I grew up with two dads, so I learned about periods through school and used the supplies the nurse gave us. When I was 13, my dads came into my room telling me I was too young. I had no idea what they were talking about. So when I asked, they held up my tampon box that I kept under the sink. They thought it was a sex toy. Are you for real? You cannot be for real. There is no excuse as a father or as two fathers to not know what a tampon is. You have a daughter. The bare minimum you can do is learn about period products and understand the difference between a tampon and a sex toy, dude. Honestly, if I was the dads, you couldn't waterboard this for me. Truly, that that's so embarrassing. What do they think the period product aisle at the store is? It is like a mini sex shop over there. Uh, I, all right. Don't leave your room after you give your dads a lesson in periods. And then don't leave your room because I would actually be so pissed at them for this. Y'all had one thing you needed to do while raising a daughter. And it was understanding what it was like to raise a daughter. 
By the way, if you didn't know, I actually designed a period journal. This journal is to help you track your period. You just fill in the month and the days here and you have a little key on it if your period was heavy, was it light, was it medium, were you spotting? And for every single day of your period, you're able to fill out any symptoms you have, how your mood was, your energy, and even a little space for you to write any extra details. If you wanna get to know your period and your body better, you just wanna support your girl, check it out in my bio. I realized I had started my period halfway through my maths lesson and I was wearing a white thong, but I hadn't brought tampons that day and my friend only had a pad and that would obviously not go in a thong. So I had to shove school's thin crusty ass toilet paper up my vagina hole until I found someone who had a tampon. No, 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 you, you did not have to do that. Oh no. Oh my God, okay, y'all. If you have your period and for some reason you aren't able to wear a pad, please do not stick anything in your vagina. The only things that should be going in your vagina are things made to go up your vagina hole. Um, And that's not just crusty toilet paper. Oh, oh my gosh. That could like break apart easily, especially school's thin crusty toilet paper. Are you telling me that won't like dissolve in there and just break apart in there? No, you couldn't waterboard this from me. Even if like you're wearing pants, stick the pad to the pants or like go to lost and found and grab shorts or something. Please never do this. I guess the lesson here is don't wear thongs. <laughs> Or the lesson really is always have some period supplies on you. Maybe even have like a change of underwear instead of having to shove cheap, crusty, one-ply school toilet paper up your coochie. I hope you're okay. <laughs> I was at school and it was that time of the month. I had to change quickly before the tutor started. So me and my friend went to the toilets. I went to the toilet and went to flush it. It wouldn't flush. So my bloody toilet roll was still there no matter how many times I tried to flush the toilet. I told my friends and I washed my hands so we could leave ASAP. As I'm doing that, a group of girls walks in and one of the girls go into the toilet I was just in, sees the toilet roll and comes out with a disgusted look on her face. Me and my friend quickly left and ran back to the tutor. Worst morning ever. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> there was just something about being in a restroom and like something going wrong with the toilet that just freaks me out. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I don't want people to think I was raised by wolves. I flushed, I promise. It's just a crappy toilet. It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> To be fair though, this could have easily been played off because if someone else walks in and you see that they're disgusted when they see your dirty toilet that you came out of, they don't know that you came out of it. So you could have been like, oh my God, so gross. I know, right? Some people just <laughs> raised by wolves don't know how to flush. I get the fight or flight kicking in. And I guess my first thought also would have been to bolt. So I almost want to be like, this happens to the best of us, sis. But with how embarrassed I get, in public restrooms about stuff like that happening, especially being caught walking out of it and someone walking directly in after me. You need to change your identity just to be safe. Just never use public restrooms again. <laughs> I was taking the subway and I apparently leaked. And when I stood up, this guy was looking at my butt and I thought, damn, <laughs> you know. But when I got home, I realized it was because I leaked. <laughs> Why is this so embarrassing? The thought of a cute guy looking at you and you're like, hey, ooh, hyping myself because a cute guy was looking at me and it's because something was wrong with me. <laughs> Is this girlhood? This might be girlhood, actually. What are the odds of you ever seeing him again? You know, like so many people go on the subway. But what if it's like a route he always take and it's a route you always take? You know what? Like, better safe than sorry. Just don't leave your room for a while. Let him forget about that. My problem is, though, I would still lie to myself and I would, like, gaslight myself into being like, he saw my leak and he was like, oh, that just happens to women and she's still super hot. Fake it till you make it. That's what he thought. Just tell yourself that. <laughs> I was at work for an eight hour shift. I started to get that feeling down there and the line of customers was never ending. I eventually got five minutes to go to the bathroom and I looked down at the floor of the register and it was a puddle of my own period blood and it was dripping down my legs. So I went to the bathroom and a customer asked me if I was having a miscarriage and I just froze. Luckily my coworker gave me a tampon and Tylenol and walked with me to the bathroom. I'm sorry, the customer that was like, did you just have a miscarriage? Mind your business. I do not know you. Who are you to be coming at me with that? <gasps> because of that, I would technically change my job. But in this case, I guess I'll change my identity. I just can't imagine having a period that badly that I have literally formed a puddle of my own blood. Nah, my job ain't worth it. Like, listen, you want me here for eight hours? All right, well, I'm bleeding and I can't control that. So y'all can wait. I need to go take care of this first before people start thinking I just had a miscarriage. I would have quit on the spot.
Mm. Shout out to that coworker though. This last one says, I leaked through three layers of clothing and no one told me about it. My uniform is white, so it was literally noticeable. Worse than that, it was my only uniform and I didn't have time to wash it the next day. Oh no, sis. No, 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 no. See, 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 cause that's when I would wake up and I'd be like, mom, <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I can't go to school. Absolutely not. No, bro. I am not leaving my room until we're able to do a load of laundry. You're telling me I have to go through the embarrassment of leaking through and bleeding on my pants once and then I got to do it again? How many days do I have to have a blood stain on me? I'm good. I mean, I guess if you really had to, you could tie a jacket around your waist, but yeah, no. Um, I would simply be sick until we could do laundry for sure. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this a big thumbs up. If I didn't get to share your period horror story today, but you would like to share it with us in the comments, please do so. And I will also leave a form for you to submit your period horror stories in my opinion comment. Shout out the day goes to, I don't even know how I can pronounce this one, user is the four week guard G6V. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered, but thank you for being here. You're awesome. <laughs> Work on your username. <laughs> but anywho, I hope y'all are safe out there. I hope you don't have really bad period leaks. And I hope that if you do, you come back and tell me about that. <laughs> but I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.